Action. Hi, I'm Abubakar Siddiq Angu, Developer Evangelism Program Manager at GitLab. And in this video, we'll be talking about container scanning. Yeah, almost everywhere, container has been adopted. Now, and with the use of clusters, Kubernetes clusters, that's become a mainstay in our industry. Developers build with containers, they deploy with containers, they almost everything, well, not everything, a huge part of application development today revolves around container technology. Now, but when, and one huge aspect of containers is the uh, container registries where there's a lot of open source or community built images that are pushed to container registries like docker hub, uh, key.io or private container registries. And for you to build a container, most times you don't necessarily need to start from scratch. You can use a base image, pull them from the container registry and use that base image to build your own container. Now, but the issue most times is the base image might be compromised or yours too might have some dependencies that are not or the way your Docker file has been created has some security vulnerabilities. Now, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use GitLab to scan your container images to ensure that you don't have any vulnerability. Now, the, there are different vulnerabilities that can occur and most times, uh, uh, they are usually based on CVEs that have been published. Now, GitLab use, integrates with open source tools like Trivi and Gripe to scan your container image. And if you have your own costume scanner or some other third party scanner, you can integrate it into GitLab CI, into the container scanning job to uh, use those third party tools. But first, let's see how you can uh, use container uh, container scanning in your project. Now, in my browser here, I have a demo project, critical project, very cool name. <laughs> now, so we'll go to, uh, let's check our CI file. We'll have a CI file here. And let me edit the CI file. Basically just some demo projects, Ruby on Rails, uh, it's a demo Ruby on Rails project created from a template uh, from GitLab default template. And you can see uh, it's using version 3.0.4 of Ruby, uh, which most likely might have vulnerabilities. So let me edit my CI file using the pipeline editor. I'll be replacing the whole CI file with uh, rules for container scanning. And also for the purpose of this uh, demo, I'll also be using the GitLab build, uh, auto build template to automatically build my project. So it's, it will use, it will detect my application. It will detect my application into, okay, it's built with Ruby, then it will package it with build packs and deploy to GitLab container registry. Now, what some of the things that needs to be in place for container scanning to work in your project is you have to have a test stage, which will automatically come within the job and your container has to be in the container registry before GitLab can scan it. So here I'll be using the build, uh, auto build templates from uh, GitLab auto DevOps templates to be automatically build my project and push it to the container registry so that uh, the container scanning can happen. So now let me uh, push to master. Okay, while this, uh, let's see. Okay, it has committed already. Now let's see, we should have a pipeline running. Now, in our pipeline, we have 
two jobs to build and container scanning while the container scanning is waiting for the builds to be done like i mentioned earlier this is using the auto build template part of auto devops it's going to use build packs you see it's trying to pull the auto build image here it's going to use build packs to detect my application oh just see that it's ruby then use the necessary uh, um, features to build a ruby container uh, and a container image and push it to the GitLab container registry. So while it's done, it might take a while for it to complete. There are different types of uh, configurations that you can add. Now let's view the GitLab documentation for container scanning. Now we have, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you can it integrates with Trivi or Gripe or you can use third party tools. And there are different options that you can set. Uh, for example, you can set the secure log level. Maybe it's too noisy and you want to limit the uh, level of uh, information that it displays. Now you can also, let's say for example, you uh, there's a certain uh, image. You want to scan images in your local registry or in a specific registry you can specify that also. Or you want to authenticate against a particular registry. You are, you are not deploying to GitLab registry, but you are deploying to another registry somewhere, maybe like AWS. You can authenticate with that and deploy to, and uh, use container scanning for that also. Now, you can also um, set certain variables for different things. You can follow, the, I'll share, I'll add the link to the documentation page in the description where you can learn more about different options and different settings that you can set for your container registry to work. Now, if you can also decide to set up, uh, use container scanning in offline environments, maybe for whatever reason you yeah, in, in a secure environment and your devices don't have access to the internet, especially in regulated environments. Now you can create, uh, you can pull, the, you can set up a job. I think, uh, let me see, there's a section for that here. You can have a different project where, uh -huh. So we have this here, you can have a project somewhere that pulls the uh, image you need, maybe for Trivi or for container scanning, pulls it regularly, push then, it packages and push it to GitLab registry. Then you can use that new image you have in the GitLab registry for your container scanning. That way it doesn't depend on the external images. Now, so let's go back to a build here. Okay, I think it's almost done. It's pushing to the GitLab registry. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's done, it's pushing already. Now let's see some other features I was showing earlier. Let me search for offline. Uh -huh. Container in offline environment. So maybe running container scanning in an offline environment, you can you see, you can create, you, you can package your own version of Trivi or Gripe or whichever one and push it to GitLab registry, then use the GitLab registry or your own custom registry within your organization to uh, run your container scanning. Now, see here, so you simply specify this as the image it should use. And when you specify it, it will use your local scanning image instead of having to pull from GitLab. But you can also keep it up to date by setting up a job in the project you've created for creating the container image so that regularly it can pull a new version of the image, tag it, then push to your local container registry again. Now let's go back to look at our job. The build job is complete. Uh, let's go back to pipeline. This is our pipeline. Uh 
uh, so the build job is complete and the container scan job is complete so if we check security here you can see dependency scan for your container scanning it recognized 296 vulnerabilities that's a lot you can see all of them here from the container scan that it executes for this pipeline and also it also recognized 10 licenses so if we go under secure and we'll go to security dashboard we'll be able to see okay uh, let's see well, vulnerability report we'll be able to see all the uh, scan it has discovered for example here we have everything on the dependency scanning let's see uh, tools let's check for container scanning these are all the security vulnerabilities it discovered within the container scan so that is how you can use uh, Con uh, container scanning in GitLab. Thank you.